Okay guys, for this step, we're going to be attaching the back wheels. So you have a mark on your car where the back wheels are supposed to go. You're going to come to me, wait in line, and I'm going to use the, the uh, awl, A-W-L, to put some starter holes where those back wheels are going to go. And those starter holes, we're going to screw in two larger screw eyes than what we use for the front wheels. So I'm going to push and turn these in. And we want to go into but not through to the other side. So it shouldn't see the other side, the uh, screw eye come through the other side. Making sure that they're nice and straight also. <clears throat> so I can screw this other one in real quick. Remember if, if it doesn't seem like your screw eyes will get started for you, you can come back in line and I will put make a bigger starter hole for you. Alright, so I've got my two screw eyes screwed into the car body and screw eyes are going to be holding our axle so you come back in line and I'm going to give you a wooden axle and a little nail that is called a brad nail the idea for the nail is that it has to be <clears throat> hammered through into but not through the axle to do this you guys got to be careful you don't hit your fingers you're going to line up the nail right in the center of the axle and I'm going to use a small hammer, not the big hammer. I'm using a little nail, little hammer. And I'm just going to tap this gently into the piece of wood. Getting my fingers out of the way so that they can be hammered into. So now I have my, my nail through my axle. The axle can go into the screw eyes. So I'm going to slide this through one side at a time. And then this should freely spin. If your axle isn't freely spinning, we'll use a pair of pliers, and I can do this for you, but make sure you're wearing goggles. Use a pair of pliers to cut the head of the nail off so that that spins freely. <clears throat> your next step is you'll need these uh, little yellow or red pieces called CD adapters, <clears throat> and they are going to change the size of the CD so that they fit onto the axle. Right now, the CD the center of the CD and the axle don't work together because they're they're not the right size. So the CD adapters get put on the table, flat on the table. <clears throat> you line your CD up over top of it. You're going to use four fingers and push right at the center and push down until you hear a snap. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other one. And that's it. Now we can attach the wheels to the <clears throat> axle and and that's pretty much it if if your wheels are spinning while the axle is not spinning then I can use some hot glue for you and glue the CD CD adapter and axle all together as one piece just when I do this it's permanent you can't change it it's hot glue in the next video I'll show you how to attach the string to the mousetrap and load your cars. Any questions, make sure you guys ask.